I don't know, this video. There's a lot of really easy stuff on this one. Like, letter P is just a bunch of easy stuff. So... I don't know. There's nothing really I'm, like, super, super worried about. Plasma Bulls 3 would probably be, like, my number one pick. Or Proto Flicker. Either one. Those are cool levels. Oh! Let's go! Hi, Kasab. What's up? Ooh, ooh. Do do do. Ba ba ba. 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 Do 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 Nice. The fluke. Hell yeah. Venom Apprentice. Sick. That was a good fluke too. God damn. The 67 to 100 over practice paid off. The new format is here. Today we're going to be talking about Proto Flicker because I just beat Proto Flicker. This level is absolutely fantastic. It is gorgeous. First and foremost, let's talk about the visuals. The visuals of Proto Flicker are beautiful. It is one of the cleanest design levels that I've really ever played, especially on the Extreme Demon side. And in all honesty, I think the like space esque theme and atmosphere that it produces is incredibly, incredibly good. And it just, it just looks interesting. Throughout the entire level, the visuals change very minimally with the exception of the gold part, which looks very different from everything else. And Scrumpy's part. I almost forgot about Scrumpy's part. But throughout the entire thing, it does keep a very consistent theming, which looks beautiful. It looks really, really good. As for the gameplay, I think it's overall very good. I can understand that for most people, it's probably going to be a little bit, I want to say, rough, because you're not going to be getting past, like, 15% very frequently. Uh, the wave part at the very beginning is so absurdly hard that even for me, who is a very competent player who is barely places in like, I don't even think he placed in my top 100. I didn't pass the wave that often. And I think I maybe passed the wave a grand total of like 30 times before I beat the level. So you're going to be very stuck. So unless you're very interested in the level itself, either for the aesthetic or because you just think it looks fun, I wouldn't really recommend it as like a hardest or in a hardest realm but if you are in like artificial ascent to like sonic wave or yadagarasu difficulty range i would highly recommend this if you are in bloodbath territory you can try it if you really like it if you think this level looks sick definitely give it a shot i'm not gonna say it's horrible for anyone who's not amazing at the video game but the wave is hard i will also comment on the fact that i think para's part which is at like 50 to 60 I didn't like that much. I thought it was very awkward. Uh, it just didn't feel good to play. That part was a little bit rough, so I'm glad that I fluked from there. But the level is super consistent, super fun, super great quality. Highly recommend it. It is a very good level. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Do you guys like this new format? I like this new format. I think it's cool to just talk about the level. Yeah, thank you for all the support. I really, truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.